Wow guys, what a view. I am stood looking over Manila Bay. Look at this, we just got sunset coming in. Can you see just behind here? Look at that. So myself, Lucy and Coda are currently at the Sofitel in Manila. They very kindly invite us to stay for a night, an overnight stay, and for a dinner at the world famous, the world class, the spectacular Spiral Buffet. I'm already smiling because Lucy and I have been here twice before, maybe three times, maybe four times. I think twice before for the actual Spiral Buffet. We've definitely then had dinner at their Sunset Bar. And I think we had breakfast. We've stayed here before as well, years ago. Very happy to be back. For the previous vlog, we arrived, we've been swimming. We had some mango shakes by the pool. Now we've kind of come back to the room. We showed the room in the last vlog as well, nice room. We showered, freshened up, and now we are gonna head down. I'm wearing long trousers for the first time on this trip. I think you're allowed to wear shorts in, but I just thought it's a nice dinner. I'll dress appropriately. Take a little bit of a special occasion out of this because it's not every day that you eat at the Spiral Buffet. So a huge thanks again to Sofitel for inviting us along and covering the room and the dinner, etc. But yeah, I'm just gonna take in a few more minutes of the view and the sunset, and then we are heading down. Our reservation is in. Ooh, about 25 minutes. I was, I, I, I was secretly hoping it'd be like more like 10 minutes because I'm getting very hungry. I just asked George if there was an earthquake. I think I'm so hungry that I am dizzy. I have not eaten enough food today. It's the mirrors. I just got it I as well. Like it's to, all these mirrors. Fair, yeah. So we are about to, <laughs> We're about to go into Spiral and I'm very excited. But this video is extra special because we are not dining here once in the next few hours. We are dining here twice. We actually have breakfast booked tomorrow morning. So we're going to be super full in about an hour. And, and then, then go have a little rest, yeah, sleep it off. And come right back down. Yeah. And then come back in the morning and go again. And this video is going to hopefully be like, if you want to have a meal here, but you're not sure which one to go for, this will answer the question. We're going to have a favorite by the end of this. Yeah. Dinner or breakfast, which one are we going to go for? I'm wearing a dress tonight from my friend Penny, style Stunner Manila. Wow. Oh, we got like the double angle here. George is wearing trousers and a shirt with trainers. Oh, who am I wearing tonight, you ask? Um, yeah, the problem is, because we're kind of traveling, I don't have, I've got like a nice shirt, nice black pants, but I'm having to wear the New Balance white trainers or sneakers with this because that's all I've got with me. I don't have any like nice black shoes or anything because I don't usually dress formally. So we're trying to get away with it. Here we go. Here we go. This is one of the, the best dining experiences of my life. They've got over some bread and some oil and vinegar. So I'm tucking into that. George is doing the first shift, although he just came over and said, Lucy, I've looked everywhere. I'm slightly overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. So I reckon, oh, he's just back now. I reckon he's got a weird random plate of things because that's just George. What? That is a very strange place to start. Why? Well, it's not very startery, is it? Steak for starter, why not? Why not? And ribeye with potatoes and the cheese wheel mm. pasta. That is such a strange way to start a buffet. For me, I would go for like some sort of starter and then go in for that, but fair enough. You do you. I'm, I'm pleased for you. Listen, in a second, we're gonna get some bread rolls. They got some, they got tons of different bread rolls with different butters, truffle butter. Really? Like so That'll many different butter. butters. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this. Is it good? This is ribeye beef with potatoes. And it's- Peppercorn. Everything, yeah. Everything here, every station has a chef. It's not like a chefs have made it in the kitchen out the back. They're making it right there. It's amazing. But I do, I do feel like you need to be strategic with a buffet like this. You wanna save yourself. Not fill up on like plain rice or, oh thank you. Not fill up on plain rice or potatoes or bread. Fill up on, <laughs> fill up on like the meats and the fish and the desserts. 
Um, I feel like I've done this before and I just went in really hard with the carbs and I was just full when there's all this amazing food around. Um, can I go now? Is that okay? You're good to feed Koda because he's a hungry boy as well. Guys, I've got a strategy. Start at the start and eat your way through and then you'll never miss anything. You'll get every single dish that you want. So I started with some chicken coconut Thai soup and this pork belly with basil and chilli, like a Thai thing, with a bit of pad Thai with shrimps here, some beef with black bean, some spring roll and some prawn crackers. This is like a mixed Asian feast for this course. And then the next bit will be like onto the next country. So quite a good tactic. I'll quickly try the soup on camera because it looks very good. Oh, that's so nice. That's amazing. That reminds me of the Thailand street food days. Wow. Ready? Yeah. Sushi. Dark spring rolls. Ooh. Salad with feta cheese for balance. And then some boneless lamb and some ribeye steak with truffle cream sauce. Wow, beautiful. Okay, there's only one issue I have with this evening and I'm about to tell you what it is. Lucy and a few of the team members here at Spiral are trying to convince me to eat a balut. Now, I said if we get to 20 million subscribers, then I'll do it. I said that loud and clear on the vlog five years ago. <laughs> that number has been somehow YouTube like skewed that number. Sometimes there's glitches when we upload videos, guys, and it apparently it sounded like 100,000 but I 1 million percent said 20 million. Yeah, YouTube just had so many glitches back then. And uh, every time I spoke about it, hi. Um, oh, speaking of which, no, I'm good, thank you. But she would. <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. How about, you how about you? What age is it? How many days? Uh, just as to these. You can have that. No, I'm so full, I, honestly. <laughs> If only he started here at the beginning of the evening, then you'd have had it, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Gia. Yeah, if you'd, if you'd come 20 minutes ago, I would have had it, but just so full now. Thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. So good. Okay, so we've had a lot of savoury dishes now. I've had sushi. I've had a lot. We've had a lot of the same as Lucy, so I haven't filmed every single course, but sushi. Just had Japanese fried rice, some amazing chicken. We've had some other Japanese food. What else have we had? I had honey roast pork with some, oh yeah, we had bread rolls with honey truffle butter. Guys, it's just like, if you're a foodie, even if you're not, even if you just like to eat, you gotta come here. If you can make it once in your life to come here. I know it's a long way for so many of you if you're in the UK or the US or wherever you're watching in the world. Um, but if you can make a trip here, it is super special. Now Lucy, so, look, here she goes again. Off she goes, acting like she hasn't just eaten 15 plates of food, just casually strolling around. She's actually managed to lap me. So we've been kind of taking it in turns to go up and one of us will watch Coda. Lucy's, I've actually had to say no, go, you go again because I, I need a break. Thank you very much, thank you. So I think now we're, Lucy wanted one more savory course and then we're gonna flip to the dessert. So always room for dessert guys, trying to leave a little bit of room. Coda. Coda, what's this? Coffee. It's actually not coffee, it is peppermint tea, which we thought may help with digestion. I think what would really help with digestion is not eating about a week's worth of meals in one sitting, but. Are you enjoying Spiral? Yeah? Are you joking with the quantity of cheese? I didn't. Plate? I didn't decide it. I said, "Can I have a little something?" Like I, I, I'm not fussy with cheese. I'll try anything. And then she's like there for ages, like like away for her back. Her, her back was to me, so I didn't know what was happening. I didn't realise. She turns around. <laughs> there's an entire wine glass of cheese. Wow. But it's a cheese room. It is a cheese room. Yeah. Dessert has begun. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We got some bread and butter pudding with vanilla sauce, some chocolate ice cream, and some coffee ice cream. My kind of thing, that is. Oh yeah. Okay, let's quickly try. I keep putting the camera down so I can eat, but you guys probably want to see how this is tasting. Mm. Okay, I have a problem with sweet things and dessert. 
I can just eat and eat and eat it. Like, I've just had all that food and I'd happily eat 10 times the amount I've got on my plate here. So good. I think this was coffee almond ice cream. And then some chocolate ice cream. Oh, so good. So rich and creamy. So it is a few hours later. We've had some sleep. We didn't even manage to say goodnight to you guys on the vlog because we pretty much came back and all three of us just totally fell asleep in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I've woken up fairly hungry, I actually. I don't know how you've woken up hungry. Somehow. I'm so full. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe when you eat a lot, you actually like expand your stomach. True. And then you, I don't know, you just want to keep eating. So we are heading downstairs to the spiral buffet again <laughs> after a few hours sleeping uh, for breakfast. So oh the breakfast experience, I can't, I think they still have a lot of food, but from, I can't remember. I can't really remember it. It's been years since we did it. So we're going to show you guys on the vlog, see what the difference is. Coda's ready for the day. Aren't you, mister? Papa. Yeah, you want your airtime, don't you? There he is. Can you wave? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to head down now. Beautiful morning. Let me quickly show you outside. Look at that for our view. Oh, there might be a plane coming through. Plane just taking off. Yeah, super nice views here. And it's not yet too warm out here. It's actually really, really nice temperature. Okay, so interestingly for breakfast, they actually seem to have a lot of the same stuff as dinner. So you can still get things like noodles, you can still get some of the dishes that we saw last night, but they've of course added breakfast. I thought they might shut off half the buffet potentially for breakfast and just do like a smaller area, but no, it is pretty much the whole thing. Um, so you still get like Indian food, noodles, but then they've added, uh, there's Filipino breakfast, there's, and I'm only halfway around, there's still some seafood you can get. So um, it's just as much of an experience for breakfast, it seems. So my first course of breakfast, I've gone for, well, on the side, an almond croissant, and then I've got fried eggs, Canadian bacon, so it's more like bacon that we find in the UK, and a hash brown as well. So I'm gonna enjoy this, whilst Coda, <laughs> what's he got? He's got some Hainanese chicken and rice, and he's loving it. Oh, yum. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I went for a ham, cheese, and, no, not ham and cheese, cheese, onion, tomato omelette with some sourdough, some butter, some hash browns, some bacon, some tomatoes. Whoopsies! Wow. So good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And it's all like made to order, which is amazing as well. It's a very good omelette. Thank you for Don't forget to scream. And just like that, we are back. Back in the condo. We're home. That was an awesome experience at Sofitel. The spiral of oh, dinner and breakfast. Feel so lucky to be able to experience dinner and breakfast so close to each other. Very close to each other, like eight or nine hours apart maybe. Hello. Maybe 10 hours apart. So, we have to make our decisions. Do we think spiral is better? Mama. Coda's gonna help me with this one. Do we think spiral is better for dinner or breakfast? Now, I'm going to be neutral George on this one, I'm afraid, um, which Lucy would... Hello, baby. Do you want to come up? Which, um, <coughs> which Lucy will criticise me for because she says I can never make decisions, but... <coughs> Mwah. Good boy. But I, I'm going to say, firstly, if you have the option to do both, if you stay at the hotel, do that. But I'm going to say they're hard to compare... <coughs> Mwah, because they're obviously very different offerings. Most people wouldn't go out for a breakfast to celebrate an occasion maybe, but a dinner for an occasion, a birthday, an anniversary. We've even seen a proposal there one time we were at Spiral. To go and celebrate at the Spiral Buffet for dinner is super special. So I think for that reason, dinner just about takes it for me. Mwah. And the food is slightly more varied and they have more of it. Mwah. 
<laughs> Coda's favourite thing to do at the moment, blow kisses. Um, but the breakfast is awesome. If you, I think if you stay at the hotel, you get breakfast included. I think every guest gets that. Sorry if I'm incorrect on that, you have to check out. But I'm pretty sure you can get like a spiral buffet experience if you're staying at the hotel. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Wow. Was that your review? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so comment below, what looks nicer to you guys, the dinner or the breakfast? I wanna read the comments, then we're gonna add them up and then we'll see if there's like a, see if there's a clear winner. Um, I think for Lucy it was dinner, definitely. But we're home, we're reset, we've got our washing on, we've got, we're unpacked already. Lucy is someone who has to come back and totally reset, unpack, get back to normal as soon as possible. So until the next adventure, we're off on a little, another little road trip. We leave, I think, tomorrow or the next day. I think we just got two nights in BGC and then we're heading out on the road again um, to stay at a brand new place for us. Two brand new places, actually. Never been before, never filmed there before. So very much looking forward to that. Yeah. Out of the city. A little clue. Ah. So anyway, from myself and Coda, we are gonna say bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you get a chance in your life to go to Spiral, 100% recommend it. We actually met so many viewers there as well. We met some viewers from the UK who had seen our vlogs and had come to the Philippines because they had seen our vlogs. Unbelievable. And then they met us. So they were saying like, oh, we went here because we saw you do it on your vlog. We watched you all through lockdown. We watched you before that. A couple from the north of England. So cool. We met some viewers from the US, a guy who had brought his whole family over and they were staying at Sofitel and eating at the buffet. It was his birthday. And we were taking so many selfies and meeting loads of people there. So really, really awesome. Can we say bye-bye? But we're gonna love you and leave you now. Come back for the next vlog very, very soon. Please subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, if you're not subscribed already. And a thumbs up goes a long, long way for us and it takes one second. So if you can do that, we would appreciate it. Also, please follow our Facebook page. We are posting on Facebook. We're nearly on 500,000 followers on Facebook, which is unbelievable. You wanna cuddle? Oh. All right, so <laughs> you get daddy's hat. Okay, right. I think we need to go. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. You wave. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.